Just from the month of October, or is this some of your old stuff too? This is just from. Just from well, it could be any any right. like some okay. people have been paying okay. their accounts, okay. and yeah, this is just for. So this April 9, 1540 isn't necessarily just for half no. of the 1560. So. Because okay. it, it just says when you received it, because this date it don't have a date correlated to when when it was. From what month it arrived? The received it in. Yeah, yeah, that's just when it was received okay. into the system. Yeah. So, like I said, this could be, especially the ones that are blacked out, mm -hmm. those are personal payments from patients' right. accounts that are probably been paying 20, 30 bucks a month. But you can right. see over here what they would pay. Um, but the Blue Cross Blue Shield, this could have been from a month ago, it could have been from three months ago, it could have been because those cross over from mm -hmm. Medicare. Um, so. Okay, and some good news. We actually added three new EMTs to our, yeah. our roster. Uh, Billy Milton just passed over yeah. in Hudson, and then we Dallas Morrow called me yesterday, and she just passed and is official. We added a Chelsea, um, which is actually Michelle's um, cousin that runs in Burdett, and she's going to be here on weekends, so she's going to be taking a call for us, too. So we have three that we've added. Um, and then I have two to discuss with you guys for AOS. Um, so if I could call the executive session. To discuss personnel, yes, personnel. How long? Uh, fifteen minutes, probably. I'll make a motion for Governor Executive Session for now, like personnel, uh, for fifteen minutes. I'll uh, second. What are you going to be discussing? You have to have a reason. You can't just say uh, uh, the person. ALS personnel, like pay and and determination, salary, salary. Yeah, that'd be good. Maybe we have a motion and second to go into executive session for non elected personnel on salary matters for 15 minutes to include the commission ministry of the media. Mm -hmm. uh, Four times. And a 12 or a 2000 dollars fix. So it, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't the computer or. Um, it was a little bit of everything from what I understand. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Jerry would fix something and then he had it for a month. <laughs> and he had it sitting out the last week just to make sure that the batteries were full because it would go dead regardless, I mean, 10 minutes off of that charger. And um, it's been great. It's been running wonderfully and we've been running it first out now again. So, it's been doing really well for us. All right, good. Then watch them sell on purple and not really much. Oh, no. Oh, no. And there's probably a reason why. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So thank you. All right. Thank you. The tax roll correction. I second that. So have the things for Kirk sign. Motion and a second <laughs> to approve the tax roll correction. So all in favor of say aye. Aye. Motion carried.
first for you. Well. <coughs> Maybe you should have opened. You want it? Maybe you should have opened. Like bookstore, 3000. Trade money, 250299. 20. Five oh two Sean Collins, one thousand one fifty one fifty. Except Jeff Scott's bid for six thousand. What was it? <clears throat> Eighty-nine fifty. Six thousand eighty-nine fifty. I second that. Yeah. We have a motion and a second to accept the sealed bid from Jeff Scott to the board pickup for six thousand and eighty-nine dollars and fifty cents. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion to For us, Lisa? I do. How long do you need? How long do I have? Ten, Ten minutes. minutes. Eleven um, minutes. Who's coming in next? The oh, source. source. Oh. Yeah, I can go over a couple of things. Part of it. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 Sometimes it's not until you send the third notice out, they finally call you and say, well, I don't own that anymore. Well, why didn't you let us know on the first notice? But 
but sometimes it, that it's just that due diligence that helps clean everything up and get it where it needs to be and get it reported to the appraiser's office so it gets, you know, yada, yada, yada. So. Um, Is that pretty typical for Stafford County? Is that 98.9%? Yeah, that's really, we're usually around 1 or 2 percent. Um, I've seen 3 or 4 percent many years ago. But, um, what are your abbreviations on your abstracts over here on the far left-hand column? Okay, the top one is gas, um, gas tax, mm -hmm. intangible tax, oil, personal property, which has basically Maryland, um, real estate, and then state assessed, and that's yeah. like utility companies, pipelines, Midwest Energy, yeah. railroad, yeah. And then special assessments, and that's like mowing, uh, streets, um, groundwater management, that's, and then truck is 1620, and that's Maryland too, that's six, Vehicles that are registered at 16 and 20,000 pounds are split out separately from personal property, but it's a personal property tax also. They did that to level up the, um, the, the property taxes on those are the same as if you came and put a 12 regular tax. Uh, 12 regular taxes used to be cheaper and they went and did legislation that made 16 and 20,000 heavy trucks should be assess the same as a 12 regular. So that's what they changed that. So, so that's for the 2013 year. And the Donna reported to you last week we got tax statements out. Mm -hmm. So this is our 2014 abstract that we're started on. We don't have an extra copy of it. But so our our tax roll this year is 13,800,000. And we've already got seven percent. We've almost collected a million dollars already. <laughs> so we've been really busy. Yeah. So you, you always have those ones that as soon as they get it in the mail, they want to pay it and yeah. get it done. And my mom. She can't let it sit for a few years. My mom too. <laughs> yeah. So I think we're off to a good start. How many percent already? Uh, seven point two. Seven point two percent. I just thought that was interesting. It is, it is. I like to see that breakdown. Yeah. Well, if you remind me, I can bring those in throughout the year. So if you want to see them, just holler. Did you have any questions about tax sale? I sent LaDonna down here and then she said, You didn't tell me they were going to ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> she did good. She did good. She did okay. Because uh, Joe came in shortly yeah. thereafter. Okay. After. And okay. there really wasn't a lot of questions. He made a few comments about it, but that was. We have still more questions in there. Yeah. And that list that I have is just my little personal list that I do in the office. It's not for, I don't give that out to public. It's not a yeah. professional. List. I always tell people just watch paper for the official. <coughs> yeah. so, so, but I wanted to give that to you, and that just to kind of so you can see it on paper. And was it April? This one is scheduled for the tax sale. Well, April, April, April or May? April or May? April or May? We added and abated on this or tax roll corrections. Uh huh. That's the tax roll corrections that we sent through to you guys. And escaped is something that totally escaped the tax ruling. We didn't even assess it, you know. And, and added is something that was probably abated and then we didn't add because a different owner or something like that, just to give you an example. But escape taxes are something that was just discovered. We don't have that many. We don't have that many. So how do you get in that? Well, you know, when they get to talk a while, <laughs> <laughs> you keep your mouth shut, right? Yeah, they'll come in. Oh, well, you haven't been assessed on that, you know. Oh. So it's a yeah. discovery. It doesn't yeah. happen very often. Or sometimes they come from another county and they can get it reported to us. So just it's not really that they're hiding it, it's, you know. It's just discovery. Right. So, okay. Are they here? No, no, no. I think I'll hold and do the rest until.
Who's coming in? Doris. another partial payment thing this year again and we're trying to find the correct statute. Again, so. this, did you make copies for that? Exactly. For that website? That was cool. Cool. I sent it to everybody. Uh -huh. um, I kind of think it'll show up sometime. Well, it's little. <laughs> One side or the other, you know, the schools are, have to abide by the by the statutes of truancy, and then, so I think. And this is another one. Okay, I look at it. If we can avoid $157 a day in juvenile detention. We'll, Vice Chair or Shane? On uh, court authority. Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Shane is a member. Here, Secretary Curtis. Oh, <laughs> nice. Are you all three the officers? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to say it. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to say it. Your Secretary Treasurer? No, I'm not. Oh. No. <laughs> we don't have a treasurer. Is that what you said, Clayton? Yes. <laughs> Yes, that's what I said. Well, he just wanted you to have that. It's not subject to open records. Right. For your 
information. I only. Yes. Okay, and so were you, uh, you going to be gone while you were inquiring about the vice chairman? We never did really set another meeting date for that either. But I think January 5th. She was looking for January 5th. Uh, no, uh, I went over there this morning. Don't do anything until I get back, and please. To clear up. I'm sorry. Um, I should have proofread it. Yeah. But anyway, um, the terms and what was the other thing? Some, oh, the facilities. Yeah. Yeah. Made it yes. And so she was going to go ahead and call him. She thing. hadn't talked to him yet? She talked to him yesterday. But then, then she was learning about this. The secretary slash treasurer. The same, the same or whether it's split. split. I, don't, I don't see it being used to be split. We don't have the money. And uh, we don't need a treasurer yet. <laughs> but I don't think we actually. I remember Carolyn at first didn't want to be the evening secretary. So I don't think we even Here, elected the treasurer. No, I think we did. Since I got railroaded as chair. chair. <laughs> oh, no, you were duly elected. <laughs> I think we just assumed that position was secretary chair. And I thought, I thought that yeah. we said that they would, that's the way it would be. Okay. So then we can finalize all of this on the, on the fifth. So, are you chair? Okay. And what are you guys? I'm a member. Vice chair. We didn't want the chairman of this to also be the chairman of oh, that. Yeah. So, Just try to stay. Move yeah. yearly. To and our people that we have in each district are staggered so that they don't come up the same year Years. for a re election. Because our commissioner funded. Yeah. That way, we wouldn't have well, you maybe that out, didn't you? four people. Had that much forethought. Well, it'd be two. When we we come up for re-election, it'd be two thirds of the whole board would be yeah. wiped off if you if we vote to get re-elected. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's three and three. Yeah, staggered. Unless the new yeah. commissioners kept them off. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I was curious if they were under or over or how close they were to the actual yeah. Well, I haven't either, but I was curious. I mean, yeah, as, quick I, as, I would that, be too. as quick as a do, project happened, it would be. Do they have that rented out yet or sold or anything they earned? No. Special meeting with her. You'll be here and written up in the audit report. Then I missed the one thing. Well, well I'm telling you, they find that one thing. 
You can't get on their list, Clay. They're evil. <laughs> and then they had the audacity of the charges. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> Oh, we made the payment on the pictometry. I saw Did that. You see that? Yes. Four thousand, forty-five hundred. So I took that out in general. I saw where Martin County is using their oil and gas depletion fund to purchase a six hundred thousand dollar sand dredge for their bridge department. They have to amend the budget. <coughs> I made that announcement Monday. Okay. Yeah, we're going to make money on it. The, the dollar, dollar, dollar twenty something a ton difference in what they could buy the sand for or dredge it themselves for. And they said it would pay for itself in five years. Well, that may not be a bad investment then. It might not. Yeah, it's just that's a lot of money though. That's, that's a lot, lot of money. money. I could help. And they looked, at use, they looked at use systems and they were the same money. The only time they got it tore down and moved it. Set but are they going to have to hire somebody to I think they have the people because they had an old sand which I believe. Uh, it's going to be recertified through my safety. Probably yeah. Oh, you know it. Yeah. So what's wrong with the 23? And these are 13 or are different mm -hmm. from the 23. In a way. In a way. It's not this usually. I haven't given any yet to anybody over 65. I'll be the first one. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't like the manufacturer. Ooh. Ooh. Why it?
Went down the line. Just sliding up. We, we always did that. Nice try. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I don't know. Anything else? So the flu vaccine. Hold them out. Oh yeah. I got plenty. Did, did they get the right strain? The flu vaccine always a guess. <laughs> but they don't know yet if it's the right. No, we had happened. like four cases in the state. I don't know which strain it is. That's what know. happened last year. Is what's in the vaccine this year. It's what happened, what, what oh. flu strains we had last year. That's how they, yes. that's yeah, how they try to guess. guess. It's what's in the vaccine. What's the following. Yeah. Okay. There's four of them in the vaccine, so hopefully. Are they um, totally different every year? Yeah, not yeah. But they put H1N1 in every year now. So we don't do that again. There's not the secret microchip. You know they're going to do that. I heard they're doing that in the Ebola vaccine. So they can chip you so they can just like a dollar. <laughs> just kidding. That, that way they can track your travel, see? And everything else. You do. But I think it's just a rumor. I hope so. It's on Facebook. I saw that. That's where I saw it. Facebook, it's got to be true. That's where I saw it. It's on Facebook. All right, cool. You have to get Facebook play. No. <laughs> oh, come on, play is fine. I've got enough. You had mine next? Yes. yes. All right. I'd like to call for executive session for non life personnel on hours. And just okay. for us. How long? Um, 10 minutes. Make a motion for executive session for 10 minutes for non elected personnel, subject matter, salaries. I second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. We're going to executive session for 10 minutes for non elected personnel, salary matters. We include the commissioners and Lisa. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, last year, you know, or last year, a couple months ago, Chad and I evaluation it was really long. And, you know, I kind of told you I didn't like it. But yeah, I'm trying and I'm a work in progress. And this may not be the performance evaluation I like either. But um, it's a little sh shorter, pretty generic. Um, I went over it yesterday with Amelia. Have 
you that. Okay, while Lisa's in here, we've been going through the personnel policy. Shall we call Lou in too? She got a lot of work today. I'm okay. going to copy that for the file. Too. Okay. Um, we've been going through the personnel policy. I told you some things we were going to change. The dress code is something that um, we, we really need to discuss. Um, um, what I had put in yellow is what I added, the common sense, and it used to be we couldn't wear t-shirts, but nowadays the t-shirts are cute with fun little things, so that's why I added the offensive logos as in beer, you know, anything. You know, common sense, okay? Um, we, a lot of the girls were I was saying some people don't well, have Well, <laughs> I can say it. It's common sense. Yeah. The team logo thing, a lot of the girls wear their Tiger or their Mustang t-shirts. So we added that in there so nobody would complain about that. And, of course, we have the casual Friday um, jean day. <laughs> you guys have to help me here. Yeah, it was my brain. <laughs> I know you guys aren't really care about this, but we're having some people that are wearing the uh, the yoga pants, leggings. the tight yoga pants, and the leggings. <laughs> Help me out here. <laughs> I would, some people require. I've heard that if if you're wearing those, something should be worn over that's not more than two inches above the knee. We that's not happening. Now. A lot of time. So we didn't know if we just needed to do away with yoga pants. Um, I'd rather just have jeans every day. I would too. Do it and or let's do uniforms. <laughs> you know, just buy some khaki pants right. for everybody. And shirts. And just a polo shirt, something, or even a Stafford County logo on a T-shirt. As long as it's not right now. I mean, the bumper or something? No. It's, it's, it's just become a, a change in the fashion. It's a fashion thing, yeah. but. It, it, when I started, I know you guys were scared. Well, well it's something I don't care. I think, I think matters like this should be handled by the department head of yourselves. If I mean, it's if not they in the policy, it's not in if it, well, I know that, but it is a policy. If they think it deem it to be not appropriate, it's not appropriate. If the department head yes. needs, so you us to put that in there. I believe so. I mean, they're okay, we're not the here every token, day to manage everybody's if, office. If Luann deems that her is appropriate for her department to wear blue jeans every day, yeah, we're going to get in the you're, 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 and, and you're going back to this and putting common sense in this in this. Well, I'm just asking. I'm throwing that out there. I'm throwing it back at you. I know. I don't know. I, I mean, I think you can twist it however you want to, but if, if the department head ain't happy the way their employees and are dressed, are twist then neither are we going to support you. I feel. The more specific you get, the more ways they look to avoid your language. And <clears throat> I mean, it drives me crazy to dissect the personnel policy, but if that's... But we've got some employees that are dissected. Yeah. There have so. been challenges. And so that's what we're trying to avoid so. on this deal. We want it taken care of. I think that's and then when a, you know, on the on another note, when a new employee comes in and they read it, it's spelled out and they know. Right. <clears throat> I think the way I look at it, the courthouse is a professional setting, and and people should dress professional. Uh, and I think it's if they take pride in their job, then that should be reflected. And you know, I've gone to places to where. It looks like they just came out of the field and said, oh, it's time for me to go to work, you know. You know, I think in, even even as the commissioners, you know, we've, we've had some discussions about the dress code. 
but it, you know, we're, we're elected, we're, you know, we're, we all, all the, hold a distinguished position, and in my opinion, you know, we should look professional, and I think it's the same thing with the department heads and their employees should look professional. And whether we need to say no more yoga pants and scoop neck blouses and muscle shirts, how many yeah. of them? Let's see, we have what? Two, <coughs> two males in the courthouse, mm -hmm. and maybe five at one time. At least the ones downstairs are in uniform. You know who they are. I agree. I think we uh, should remain as professional as the times, I mean, as the fashion, you know. I, I, when I came to work, I wore slacks and skirts and suits. It's gotten a lot black, more black. But, yeah. but I can also tell you I ruined so many clothes in my office that it's not even funny, snagging them on books right. and shelves and things. And so it's like, gosh, do I want to spend a lot of money on something I just might get ruined? And so, you know, and I, I still agree we should, you know, I'm not saying we need to wear suits and slacks and stuff, but you know, nice pants and decent attire, and then I think we need to keep our casual Fridays because it's a yeah. good morale thing. But I have actually seen people on a casual Friday that look nice. really, really, really nice, almost nicer than their dress clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then some, yeah. so it's all a matter of personal taste. I know, and, and I perceive, style. you know, jeans as jeans. Yeah. But then I realize that there are some jeans that cost more than Docker khakis or mm -hmm. chinos mm -hmm. or anything mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. but they're still jeans. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't rolled over yet. So. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, as long as they're nice and don't have holes and stuff in jeans. I would think we'd need to be <laughs> the department head should be be able to determine what's inappropriate and even if it might not be perfectly consistent, they're still working in your department. I mean that's just the way it is. It's already in there. I can honestly or, say I don't have a problem, so I don't you know. Then the blue jeans maybe more outside of future though. Outside field work only or at the discretion of the department head supervisor. Yeah, that's the only talking about in the blue jeans. So what you if think they were a example? sentence like that should be in there for anything. Yes. Any attire. Yeah. <coughs> is there'll be some new fad to show up that maybe this is something we could discuss also at the department head meeting. And to we get did views of all we, departments we, too. We did one time, didn't we? Touch on this. Well, you think the other departments? The road has uniforms. We had uniforms. I mean, I would like to see the it's county buy a, a new buy everyone like a nice polo. We used to have time. some with emblems, but they screwed mine up and gave me a men's 2XL and Madonna wore it when she was pregnant. <laughs> What'd you order? Well, I think I just ordered an XL and they gave me the men's 2XL, but I don't know. But, well, I never got their mind. But they did at one time buy us. I don't know, Clay was probably here. So it's something that back the department heads shall have final approval of work attire in their office. Yeah. I agree, and like if it's a, a blizzard and icy cold and stuff, I'm going to say that. Go ahead and wear your jeans and your under armor or whatever. People shouldn't come up here to do business and then go out and say, man, did you see what so and so mm -hmm. was wearing? You're right. That's what we need to avoid. Yeah. Common sense kind of tells you that, but somebody, somebody, somebody needs well, we to have the authority. I must take that. You think that needs to be taken out? I will out. take that out because that opens it up for a whole thing. Well, probably don't need the definition. Because then they, that gives them a chance to argue with you. <laughs> I put professional appearance in all caps. <laughs> okay. I mean, if that's what we're going to stress. Okay. I, 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 you know, I do agree that dress code is, that's you true. know, used to when you traveled, you know, you 
you mm -hmm. wore your vest, you know, on an airplane or train or whatever. That's gone by the wayside. I was in O'Hare Airport one day and there's a guy with knee high rubber boots. He just had just fed the pigs and was on his way to someplace else, you know, probably on an emergency. Uh, you know, like the nurses used to wear uniforms and their cap. You know, the, the yeah, doctors used right. to wear three piece suits. You know. it's, it's, yeah. Practicality is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. I think one of the things we need to do maybe also, especially since there aren't going to be a few changes, is I don't know, and this is a department head thing too, just make sure your employees read over, maybe read, read the, the manual, and especially the new changes, and maybe make sure that they do it. like. I had even suggested yesterday that maybe just sit down with everybody and it sounds silly, but read it all out loud right there. And you read it and it's almost did the, have to have a meeting. Yeah. Did the employees sign? I mean, the new employee read that they, and sign? They sign. Okay. They, yeah. Okay. Well, they acknowledge, sign, that, they they acknowledge they, that they, they got it, but I don't you know. Does it say that they read it? <coughs> and we have had some that take it. Oh, I know. And bring it back but, and sign. But most of them just sign it right off the counter right. and go off. If I can't make them, they can it. Right. Right. Expected to present a professional appearance, and maybe maybe what the man said just uh, told, and really all employees in the county needs to go over. Now, I thought the same thing you did, going over the manual. Yeah, and reading it out loud. Because that way, who, who wants to do a computer computer based training on that? And make all of our employees go to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, I, I didn't, I have never even read every word of the manual, probably. I mean, until when these this, employees come to work dressed in the middle, do you ago. appropriate? Do you say something to them? Do you mention to them you would like them to wear something different next time? Well, it's just that uh, I mean, if they don't things know that become a problem in, uh, like, they're, they're cutting down on in schools, too. Right, And yeah. so it's just, it's like I say, it's just a trend. But I mean, if, if one of my employees would show up to work dressed up appropriately, I tell them. I mean, the, I, I mean, is that something we do? You get department heads do? Or? Well, like that, like no, not really. Like I said, it's just become more and more relaxed. Because I mean, if they don't know what I mean, everybody's definition of a professional appearance is different, or common sense on what they should appropriate business dress would be. It might, you know, it might be something where you, some you know, casual conversation, you know, I, I don't like what you're wearing today, can you please not, you know, or not make a huge deal about it, but just kind of laid some ground rules. It will be coming huge bit. Oh, I know it will be, but I mean, if we if we don't start somewhere, yes, I agree. you know. It's, yeah, that's fine. Well, if they don't like it, everyone can be replaced. I hate to say that, but if it's the truth. I've had that issue several times as a coach. We'd, have, yeah. we'd say you can't have stripes or stuff, logos that you remember cutting the side of your hair. Yeah. Uh, I had a kid come in right before a ball game. I said, You're not playing on playing tonight? He looked at me and I said, Either you get to the barber <laughs> before the game or you're not going to play. And I spent $150 to get that put in there. I said, Tough luck. Yeah. <laughs> I said, Either you, you get it out or you don't play. Well, that's like, you know, um, I had asked you guys here several months ago about the hair color deal. I mean, yeah, that's but, and now unless that's in policy, I really don't think I have any grounds. Because are you going to say common sense on that too? Well, that's, 
Yeah. All, in all, all in all, this is a really good place to work. We have good benefits. We get, have really decent pay. And I think, you know, if some people are not liking or, you know, disagree with the rules, they need to stop and think. Yeah, I, wanna, I, think, I think I think as a as a manager, you would want you know. Mm -hmm. There's ways to handle mm -hmm. handle it outside of yeah, we need it in policy. I agree with that, but there's other ways to handle it too. If, you know, I feel as a department head or a manager in my office to mm -hmm. take care of it. Yeah, and then there's also the the uh, expense part. You know, so I know I realize clothes are expensive, some clothes are expensive, mm -hmm. but you don't have to spend a ton of money to look decent. I got these at garage sale. <laughs> Did you take the sticker off? Huh? Did you take the sticker off? Yeah, the little oh, 50 cent. Or, <laughs> it says 50 cents. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. three for a dollar. My, my wife brings home clothes every time she works at the second hand store. Yeah. For a dollar. Perfectly good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just I do feel we've, we've gotten a really really casual, almost too casual, even in our dress stuff clothes. Right? Well, it's like you know we provide road and bridge with shirts, mm -hmm. so at least you know we know who they are. <laughs> e EMS, mm -hmm. as you know, law enforcement. You know, when it comes to firemen, you know, who well, knows what. <laughs> you know what they were. Right, but on the job anyway, they were here. But anyway, I mean, in those departments, you know, they're identifiable, and I think the same thing should hold true with mm -hmm. the coordinates people. At I, least. I would think they'd be offended though if we provide uniforms and we give them any variety. Well, of, I agree. I would. I, mean, I, I personally. Would, I, I'd be opposed. On one to side, I, on one side, I would love to have a uniform, so then Saturday I could just get up and put it on in the morning, and not give it any thought. Maybe. <laughs> Too much time. But yeah. At least one day, if you had those tops, you wouldn't have to spend so much time in the closet deciding what to wear. Right. I like I was saying, saying I would need a top. Well, well, I would like to see the sleep day. day. We have so many new employees since we had those shirts made the last time. I would like to see um, the county buy us some polos or something with the logo on it. I'm not saying five, five oh, a piece. Well, we but, you know. candy sale. Should we have so, one day a week? Be the suit separate. County oh, shirt sure day. Yeah. Discuss that. Because everybody day. <laughs> right. You would, you but at least it would give them one other option than um, trying to figure out something on their underwear. And it's I I have three there. or four bridges of my association shirts, and I'm I've told people, man, if I had five of these or six or seven of these or whatever, I'd just wear them every day instead of you know, and I can wear them with slacks. Or trees or whatever, you know. Jeans too, long jeans though, so. Well, we're having a department head meeting when? Well, we can discuss the style of shirt and everything. I'm, I have a company, the company we use in our association that makes the French of these shirts, um, it's called Identities. And you can send them your logo and then you can go any that you can wear any style of shirt you imaginable polos, long sleeve, dressed up button shirts, jackets, hoodies, you name it, and they'll put that logo Where's on it. So, at? huh? Where's that? Uh, right up north. No, I forget the name. Of the There's north. a place called Identification. No, this is Identities. It's okay. spelled weird. Right. And then, so our association, we sent the logo in, and then we just had everybody just go in the, the website and order their own shirt, their own style, size, color, shape, whatever. And that's worked out really good. And so even something like that might be, you know, give them the budget to do it or whatever. But we don't have a logo. Well, we can get a logo. I have a daughter graduating from graphic design school next month. She probably you should have a contest. <laughs> the county fair. Why are you saying that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Art. What's the prize? I agree with you. Uh, should some sort of a uh, official sure logo. Sure. Sure. <laughs> No, that's our oh, that's nice. Nice. And, and everybody come to work arguing, you didn't get that. No, 
demo? This was blue shirt. Blue shirt. It is hard to get the memo. Clay, Clay and Shane are <laughs> totally <laughs> different. I'll everybody. Unless you put that in the manual. You know, get the blue Thursdays will be <laughs> County Logos Day or whatever. County Shirt Day. I'm going to Coles. Though. Are you? Yeah. 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 Before Black Friday. There's no basketball practice. I missed that this morning. Oh, yeah, you did. I get the day off. Set them up. 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 Dated um, to 2009, and Luann has having a change in her office. So January 1st. January 1st. She's, she's, she's going afraid out. she's going to have a lot of, and so we just didn't know. We wanted to come to you. We would like to see that increase a little bit to make it really worth well, the county's time. Well, what is it? The section two is the, the problem where. If it was over ten dollars, we charged them five dollars. Yeah, we charged them five dollars, and then so it was it was just getting a little silly to send back whatever the difference was on a lot of times. Yeah, so if if, if it's an eleven dollar overage and we pay them back, they're gonna get six dollars because we're taking five dollars for, for doing it. Yeah, doing it. which is probably worth more than that too. 
Yeah, you know, we, we were thinking of raising section one to fifteen or twenty dollars, and then the charge, the fee, to ten dollars. Or you can keep that's, that's, what that's what this says. They've got oh. a copy of the new one. Yeah, this, is the, new one. One. You, this is the old one, and this is the new one. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that's what it says. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the current one. We're going to lower this. And then, uh, she's, she's got the old one. Right? <laughs> she has, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I had this Why thing on my desk. Why didn't I change it? That's what it says. <laughs> and it's dated on the 2014. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I've just made one up in case we didn't. <laughs> That was right. It all is funny. 24. Yeah, that, that's when I came to you guys before. And, you know, you guys weren't sure about it. You were kind of hesitant. I'm and okay uh, with it. I'm okay with it. But what, what resolution? I really, and I really don't have a... I'll let, you, I'll let me... Yeah, after we Yeah, she'll send it to me. We'll do it next week. Okay. So, so, so what do you, does we'll this require a new resolution? Yes. Or do you amend the other resolution? No, we're going to put it... Okay. Eight, we'll have to put in there resolution number... Da, 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 okay. is no longer I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so... I thought we said that we were good with it last time. You're okay with... Um, what is it? The $20 and, and then the T of 10 yeah. In excess of that should be not be so funded. If it's, if it's twenty, if they pay over twenty dollars, they will not get a refund. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if you if you come in and pay me something for one hundred fifty bucks and you pay me one hundred seventy, the county will not issue a refund. This is the first one has helped so much because they, we were issuing. One dollar refunds, sometimes fifty cent refunds. Oh, wow. I mean, seriously, it was like a daily thing. It was getting ridiculous. So this really helped a lot. And then with my fees changing, the first of July or January, um, the more you know, the mortgage tax went down and the fees are going down. But it's still not very happy with that whole deal. But I'm afraid I'm going to get a lot of wrong fees. Although I am sending out notices starting next week, uh, new fee schedules, so people can hopefully start getting used to it. I took some over to the banks already. And so, how do you get these over? Like, a, a lot of times when people pay their taxes or something, they just write the check for the wrong amount. Um, so, we just put, put it in overage. We receive it in and put it in to county generals overage. And people pay me the wrong filing fees. Today I had a four-page document. The fee right now is twenty dollars. They sent us a check for twenty-five. So yeah, I had to. When you got to stop and back up, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So if I pay, t if I give you twenty-one dollars overage, you know, I want, then I'm going to get eleven dollars back. Yeah. Yes. It, a lot of times it was a constant there in my my office where people just weren't paying attention or they don't wouldn't learn the fees or wouldn't call and ask me the fees and it was like over and over and over the same people, you know. Yes, I, I see and, people just round their checks up. And yeah, and the refund process was ridiculous. It, it's a pain in the you know piece or two. Because we got to submit a voucher to her. Yeah, and, document and then get the check cut and. Then, Tax roll and, and then the checks weren't wouldn't go out until the next payroll or pay accounts payable run, right? So sometimes it would be two weeks before they would get their refund. I'd send the document back right away, and then they wouldn't get their refund until later. And then they weren't cashing the checks because mm -hmm. they didn't know yeah, what the check was for. We yeah. had one. Oh, yeah. wasn't it you? Yeah. It was like six or almost a year later. They called and didn't know yeah. what that check was for. Yeah, so we had to dig and dig yeah. and dig and find it. That's the other problem. When you do send those refunds and they don't cash, yeah. then we got it. It's not very important to them if they don't do it. Well, and for due diligence, when you have outstanding checks with the auditors, that's a headache. Yeah. That's another headache. Another Amber Alert. Yeah. You're going to tell her you're saying that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> Got it right up there. I'm a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> They're redoing that. Yeah, we're going to learn. All right. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs>
Okay, so re you're good with this? Okay, I'll bring it back next week for a signature then. Or we need to put something in there about rescinding. I'll have to resolution think about that. Okay, you, we'll get together on that. Well, on your refunds that you do, do you have like a void after 30 days or something like that? I stamp it on my checks, void after 30 days. Yeah, I think we used to do when I was so easy writing my checks. But I think technically the bank can still take Yeah, and then the audit is like that. Yep, yes. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm done. I'm going to adjourn.